Okay, so I've come up to the top of Canaan Mao. Thought I'd uh, shoot some waterfalls today. The sun's out. Uh, been raining yesterday. Plenty of water here, which is quite nice. So I've come back to this spot, which I think I shot about three years ago. But that tree wasn't there back then. So that has just completely ruined a beautiful shot, which I'm a bit gutted about. So you've got this big ugly tree here just falling completely across the falls there. Um, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my mate's house and he's got a nice chainsaw and what I'm going to do is chainsaw it up um, and get rid of it and hopefully by sunset we should have a nice shot. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. No, so what I've done is I've gone down to the bottom there. I've taken the shot anyway because I can't move the bloody tree so... Uh, We'll see what that's going to be like, um, which I don't think is going to be very good anyway. That's a real shame that is. Plus, I've taken a shot here um, of these little waterfalls coming down here. You've got the viaduct bridge over there. You've got the sun on the side there, which is lighting the side of the hill here beautifully. The green moss is really shining out and you've got some nice light on the falls there. So I've taken a couple of shots here. I'm going to put the cascades down here. I'm going to have a look there and then I'm going to head to the main waterfalls which I want to shoot again. So uh, I'm going to head down there. I'll put these images up now if they're any good. So I've come down to these uh, cascades down here, which I quite like. Uh, so what I've done, I've gone for a nice wide shot. You've got cascades running on the right of the frame. At the centre here, you've got them coming in on both sides here, and some small ones just on the left there. Um, right in front of that, you've got this big gigantic rock boulder full of green moss, and that tr horrible tree there that's fallen in. Plus, I'm getting the viaduct uh, going across on the top now I don't want the sky I'm trying to lose the sky as much as I can because um, it's quite it's blue but it's that whitish blue which is uh, not very good so uh, yeah so I'm trying to get the top of the frame the viaduct at the top the light spilling out on the left of the frame and the sides there looks absolutely beautiful and uh, the river just coming down and uh, white water spreading out on the frame here now I've tried a bracketed shot I've also tried one at a third of a second, which is probably going to be the one I like. And I tried one at a fifth of a second. Now I've put a polarizer on there just to darken, taking the glare off the uh, part of the river here. And I've also put um, a little three stop in it for a longer exposure, which I don't think I'm going to use that because I really, I don't like the milky washed out sort of look. 
so I'll probably go at a third of a second. So, uh, right then, I quite, I kind of like these. Uh, it's an interesting image from the top all the way through. And I think the light coming through on the side there really helps it. So I'm going to move now to the main falls and uh, plop this image up now. Right, so I've come down to the uh, main waterfalls. Ah, these are just absolutely fantastic. Really love these falls. Came here about to these ones maybe two years ago, maybe three, uh, when I came down the sides. Uh, the light was harsh then, so uh, what I, the position I'm in now is just brilliant. Um, I'm just full on it. I've got the rocks coming down on each side. The falls coming down here and I've got falls coming there on the left. So where I am now is a good angle. And uh, then I'm going to go up onto here to get a bit closer to that falls. So I should have better angles this time uh, than I did last time. So yeah, I really love these falls. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, but what I'm going to do now, I'm waiting for that sun to dip down behind the hill there. Um, a bit later it'd be nice for it to dip a bit enough for me to get sunlight on the rock side there would be nice and uh yeah once that goes out the way i'll be able to uh get no harsh light coming through but uh oh, i love these falls absolutely beautiful <laughs> So yeah, I'm in position now, ready, uh, just to watch, see what happens with the light. My camera set up here, so the more that that dips down, I'll be playing about with the light really and trying to get the best shot I can. Um, beautiful. I mean, what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to get on the left of the frame here, you've got these mossy rocks uh, right on the left here. You've got the falls coming down on the left here. The other falls in the background they're joining in in the centre here and you've got these rocks and uh, these gnarly trees in the uh, top of the frame. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the sky yet, whether I'm going to leave it out, we'll see. Um, we'll wait till the end and see what happens. Uh, but I'm determined to get my shot today here. Absolutely lovely, these falls. Right then, so uh, I'm just going to let you know, I've set up a couple of new... Uh, YouTube channels. Uh, on my old channel years ago I started a uh, channel which was North Wales Photography Locations. Well I lost that channel with my old channel so what I've done now is I've set up a new channel uh, Snowdonia Photography Locations uh, which is basically a channel really for specific places in Snowdonia to photograph. So say you wanted to, um, I don't know, if you wanted to go to the Lone Tree Hambedis, there's a vlog there on the Lone Tree Hambedis. There's different types of vlogs there, uh, which I'm trying to build up now. So uh, would appreciate if you went over and subscribed. And I think that'll be a useful tool for photographers coming down to Wales, wanting to uh, shoot in locations from there. You can just have a look over there. Now the other channel I've got is the Dinorwig Slate Quarry Photography Files and uh, 
what I've done that on that channel is specifically specifically it's a photography location guide for Dinawi Quarry. So what I've done there is I've um, made little episodes, file one, file two, file three, of different sections in the quarry you can photograph. Like section ones will be park part down, what you can shoot down there. Um, file three, six sack, what you can shoot on the way to six sack. File four will be ankle seat barracks and so on and so on. So you'll be able to see what you can actually shoot in the Denarwick quarry. So that might be uh, useful if you want to go there vlogging, or not vlogging, photographing and on the quarry sometime. So if you go over and subscribe to them channels, I'd appreciate and uh, spread the word on them. Right, that sun's trying to dip a bit lower then. Right, that sun's dipping out of the shot now, so I'm going to start setting up and uh, taking images of these beautiful falls. Right, so the sun's about to disappear now, thank God, and uh, hopefully we'll get some sort of slight blue instead of white in the sky there, once that goes over there. So what I'm going to do here is a landscape of these falls, coming down the left of the frame here, and you've got the nice green mossy rocks. Not going to get any light on them, it's too late now. Got the falls coming down in the centre and these rocks over here. So I'll take about three over here, I think. I'm also going to do a vertical shot of this rock here on the left of the frame. Then I'm going to head back over there and get a shot from that side, I think. And that's it. Um, yeah. Glad I came back here. Uh, good position this time, much better than last time. Last time I was stuck on there and uh, I didn't seem to get a good position on this last time on here for some reason, I don't know. But uh, yeah. So, going to leave it there now, the end of the vlog. Uh, so, uh, thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and until next time, bye.